Okay, hello dear friends. Good morning. Such a beautiful day. So today we are going to learn about reference angle. Reference angle is an angle that is between 0 to 90 degree. Could be 0, could be 90, but it's within this range so that you will use it as a as a reference when you do trigonometric calculation. When you see this uh, uh, unit circle, you will find that the number, the absolute value in a particular point that is a symmetric, they are the same value. The, um, the absolute value is the same. So we want to make sure that the angle happens within this, this uh, uh, quadrant so that you can easily do the calculation when you know all the va value in this first quadrant. You can make some reflection or flip over rotation and get a different uh, uh, positive negative sign uh, respectively. But the key point you remember, anything happened in the first quadrant. This is what I understand. Of course, uh, reference angle is more or less like, um, like uh, an absolute value. You use it so that as um, you, you use, use it to measure the magnified of certain value, not the direction, not uh, uh, not the positive negative sign, and not anything else. You use it as a, as a ruler so that you can move around to calculate. I hope this makes sense. So let's do it. <clears throat> so here we have our of quadrant, the, the Descartes, Descartes, um, Xian. So, for example, I have an angle that is 94 degree. 94 degree, so it's 90 and 4. It's around here. Let me have my pencil, another color pencil. Okay, each one will. So this is 90. 94 is around here. I am a little bit exaggerating, but you get the idea. So this is 94 degree, but the reference angle is below 90. So this is the reference angle. This is the reference angle. Here is the reference angle. So it is the angle that has the difference, have the, the opening over the x exit. Anything over the x exit, but within 90 degree. This is over the x exit. But it's over 90 degree. No, 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 it's not good. It should be this. So it's 180 minus 94, which is uh, 86 degree. So the reference net angle is 86 degree. Okay, now we do another one. This one. Let's say it's uh, 520, 20. We will not make it too much a number. So <clears throat> 520, we can see it as 600 plus 140. No, 100, sorry, what I'm doing, 160, right? So which it means there is one rotation, one rotation is 360, and then another 160. 160, what it is, the whole 
the half rotation is 180. So it's not reach to the whole complete half. It's here. Oh, oh a little bit. So this, the, the rotation from starting Ding, 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 90, 180, 270, and then 360, 360, 450, and 520. So what is the reference? The reference is always over the X exit. Nothing to do with the Y exit. There is an angle. No, disregard it. It has nothing to do with what we are going to do. We only measure this part, this opening. Okay, so we can see it's 180 minus 160 equal to 20. So the reference angle is 20 degree. You disregard of the direction, you disregard the compression, extension, whichever um, f uh, uh, nerdy, interesting word. You only see the opening up, no matter open up or press down, no matter whichever way, only measure the difference between these two, these two lines. Okay, so now we will do another reference number, reference angle. Here we have our quadrant. Um, yeah, Xiangxian. I forgot the Chinese uh, English name. And this one we had eight hundred. Let's do eight hundred degree. 800 degree, we can digest it into 720 degree plus 80 degree. Am I right? I am doing the right mathematics, right? The pure. So 720 are two rotations. 360, 720, and then another 80, 80. It's smaller than 90, so. So this is the reference angle, 80 degree. There is no direction. It's an absolute value of the opening of this within 90 degree. So the reference number is 80 degree. Okay. Oh, oh we are a little bit out of... Uh, out of the link. Okay, we are very comfortable with degree. Now we need to do something that change from degree to uh, radian. We know one pi equal to 100 degree. And this is not an equation, but you can just write it this way. I like to write it this way. We know that this is the, the arc of pi. The, um, the arc of the pi is 180 degree. So we have pi over 3 is 60 degree because 180 divided by 3 is 60. And pi over 6 is 30 degree. Now we have the teacher give us one problem. That is 13 pi over 4. Now we need to measure it. What is its reference angle? What do we do? 14 pi. We need to find a pi. The closest pi is 3 pi. 12 pi over 4 is 3 pi plus 1 pi over 4. So, which means 1 and half rotation equal to 3 pi plus pi over 4. So, for this one, we can see 
the, the reference angle is pi over 4. Now we see another problem. Negative 12, uh, 19 pi over 12. Now we need to look for the closest, uh, closest, closest complete pi. So what is the com closest complete pi? There could be 12 over 18 pi, negative, and negative 12 over 24 pi, right? So this is, a, uh, oh, this is not right because this is not complete pi. This is, um, this is not right. 12 over 12 pi. Sorry. So what is close to it? 12 over 12 pi and 12 over 24 pi, right? 12 over 12 and 12 over 19, the difference is 12 over 7 pi and 12 over 19 pi over 12 and 24 pi over 12, the difference is 5 pi over 12. This one is bigger than half pi, is bigger than 90 degree, so it's not good. It's not reference angle. Reference angle must be within 90 degree. And this one is a smaller than half pi. That is good. So the reference is 12 over 5. Uh, 5 pi over 12. I always speak it in the Chinese way. I'm sorry for that. Anyway, anyway, 5 pi over 12. There is no positive, negative. This is an absolute value in terms of, uh, of triangle. I hope this um, makes sense. Thank you very, very much. Okay, let's do another one. Negative 11, 10 degree. So the closest is negative 180 degree, right? 180 and 110. The difference is 70 degree. You do not need to care about uh, you do not need to care about the positive or negative value. You care about the absolute value. 175 degree. Uh -oh. 100. Uh -oh. oh, this is not good. I need to change ink. 175 degree. And where it is close to very close to 80 with 5 degree difference. So the reference for 175 degree, the reference angle is 5 degree. Now we do just some, uh, some uh, um, 120 degree. We do only um, Only pure number calculation without uh, uh, doing the, the, the graph. So to 180, there is a 60 difference. 290, mm -hmm. it's quite close to 360 with a difference of 70 degree. So in this way, you can figure out the reference angle. Always an acute angle because it's a cute angle. That's cute. I love you. I really do. Do, 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 do.